While all eyes were on the election to see who will win leadership positions, there was also a number of tax bonds on the ballot. One of them was a $14 million dollar bond for St. Paul Public Schools. Logan Ford's Leroy Triggs caught up with St. Paul's superintendent, and he joins us from our Grand Island newsroom with more. Brandon, this is the second time St. Paul Public Schools has attempted to pass a school bond. The first came in March when an $18 million bond failed. And last night, the $14 million bond failed with 52% of voters voting against it. The intention of the bond is to replace their 1923 building and it would, have, it would provide new teaching and learning spaces for their 4th, 5th, and 6th graders, along with expanding the cafeteria and adding the preschool to the main campus. The school superintendent says that this is a need to improve the educational environment, adding that it, took, it is now back to evaluating what is best to improve the school at a lower cost. The board will have to sit down and discuss, you know, do we want to pursue a bond? Uh, do we want to wait a few years and, and kind of repair what we currently have, maybe make some updates and enhancements to other areas? Um, and just be very strategic about how we want to use our funds moving forward. Adam Patrick says that they have cash reserves set aside for the 1923 building. Now the only question is, is now the right time to invest in the building? Patrick says that structurally the 1923 building can last between three to five years, but they will address a roofing issue and reevaluate where they want to be in the next five to ten years. Brandon, back to you.